my first question. I um, want to open the discussion about um, An Appetite for Wonder, which is, your first, um, which is your most recent book and the first volume of your autobiography. Could you um, just tell us a little bit about that and about the path that took you to The Selfish Gene? I was asked to write an autobiography, and I started to write the, the story of my whole life. And when I got exactly halfway through, which was a, just about the time when I wrote my first book, The Selfish Gene, I suddenly felt I needed a rest. And so I asked the publisher if they'd mind if I split it in half and uh, published the first half as a volume one. And they were rather pleased about that, so that was OK. Uh, it was a natural break point halfway through my life uh, when I published The Selfish Gene. So that first volume, An Appetite for Wonder, is childhood. It's about half childhood, and then my time at Oxford as an undergraduate, and then my time as, an, as a graduate student. And then I went to Berkeley, California for two years, then came back to Oxford as a lecturer, uh, and then reader. And um, then I, well, I, no, you wanted me to go up, up to um, the selfish gene, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's for TV. Okay, well, I mean, um, my, my lab research was really not about evolution, but I was always fascinated by evolution. And it's very easy to be fascinated by evolution at Oxford, because Oxford was, and I think still is, indefinitely still is, a bit of a, a center for evolutionary thought. And so I was always very interested in evolution, and was very conscious that there were popular books and television programs that had, that had got natural selection all wrong. Uh, in particular, they, th they treated the species or the group as the level at which natural selection acts. And therefore, something like altruism, something like caring for other individuals, something like cooperation, was always explained as for the benefit of the group or the benefit of the, of the species. And that's absolutely not how natural selection works. Natural selection works at the level of the gene. And if you really want to understand why animals do the things that they do, including why they're good to each other, kind to each other, help each other, cooperate with each other, refrain from killing each other, then you have to understand that it is for the good of the genes that make them do it. So I call the book The Selfish Gene because the gene is the one level where you're always going to find selfishness. Selfish genes give rise to altruistic organisms, and sometimes selfish organisms as well, of course. But if you want to explain altruistic organisms, then the way to do it is in terms of the differential survival of selfish genes.